Welcome back to another King Skyline YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to be re-looking at Daisy retexturing clothes or retexturing items. A lot of people were having problems um, regarding the configs and items appearing in game but appearing white. So today, let's have a look at this. So we we should by now expect you to have your P drive mounted and your game data extracted. So if you open up your P drive, this is where your main mod folder is going to go. If your main mod folder is not in your P drive, your mod is probably not going to work in game. Okay. <clears throat> so in here, this is where we would start with our whole creation of the mod. So we're going to start a new folder and we'll call this tutorial. Okay, so we're going to go into this folder, and I'll have this uh, whole folder posted in the description in a link as a download. So here we're going to create a config, which I luckily enough have ready to paste. So we have a config here now in our tutorial one folder. So if we open this up, we can change this. So this is King Skyline YouTube tutorial. We'll call this Tut One, King Skyline Tut One. So we'll copy that and we'll replace this class and this class and we'll keep the name as YouTube tutorial. Okay, so you will need this in your main central folder. So the one we're looking for is the tutorial one folder with the config inside. So this is what determines this whole folder and all the contents inside as one mod. Okay, so now we have that, we can save that. And we can minimize that. So in here, we will create a new folder. And we'll start by calling this one data. Okay. So in this folder, in this data folder, this is where you can create an utmost amount of folders and anything that you wish. And as many items as you want to create. You can create it all in one config. You can create it all in many configs and separate them out. So today, we're just going to be looking at one config. So I'll create a new folder and we'll call this one NVC pants. Okay, so we've got the NVC pants. And if we copy our config, I will paste this up in the uh, again in the description. So here we're looking at this config that I've made. Okay, so this one is a NVC jacket, so we'll re relook at this and we'll call this King Skyline NVC pants. Or we can call this King Skyline pants, whatever, it doesn't matter, as long as this class is different to any of the other classes we have called. So in this one, we've called it King Skyline Tutorial 1, so we can't use that class name anymore. Right. So down here, we have our mini config you can use this as a base if you wish so this one is an nvc jacket we really don't want that so what we'll do is we'll open up our p drive we'll go into dz characters pants and we'll open up the config in there so if we do find nvc we can see nvc pants base as we can see the hidden selections are already called within this config so we don't 100 percent need to call them within our config but it's always best to have zyvertech as a com as a selection that has been called sometimes it won't be zubitech sometimes it'll be camo okay let's go back so i know zyvertech works so what we're really looking for is this NBC jacket base, uh, NBC pants base, and we're going to want that in our config. So we replace the jacket base with the pants base. So now, when we create our mod, we 
the game knows to create this as pants. So we're calling from the pants. So this is what you want your uh, your item to be seen in game as. So this is what you would call it through the admin tools or putting it in traders or anything like that. So we call this King Scar line NBC underscore pants. We have our scope two here. And we have our display name. So we'll call this NBC pants. Description short is what you will see in your tooltips within your game. So King Skylands retexturing free YouTube video. We'll leave that there because I like that. Item size. This is what you will see when you pick your item up and put it in the inventory. So if you're not wearing that piece of item and it goes into your inventory, this is how big it's going to be. So this is one by six. I'm going to change this to two by two. <coughs> item cargo size is how many inventory slots the item has itself when you're wearing it. So for this, this is, uh, I believe, 30 slots. So if we change this three to a nine, this now should have 90 slots. Attachments aren't normally on things like clothes but this is how you add them. So you would add this attachments line right here. You can remove this if you don't want them and you can add it and add more if you do. So our attachment slots are shoulder, chem light, walkie talkie and identifiers patch too. So these will be attachment slots on our pants, right? So if we want to change these slots, we can go over to the P drive. We can go down to scripts, open up the config in there, and you'll see all these slot names. So say if I wanted to put a backpack on my, I wanted to put a backpack slot on my pants, I would take this slot name here after the first underscore, and I'll put that here. So we'll do comma, On, and we'll put that there like that. It's formatted perfectly fine. Yep. Don't 100% need the space there. Okay. So now we're going to need our PAA file to edit. So to find the PAA files, you want to go back to where you found your config file for the item that you're editing. So pants in DZ characters pants. We go to data and we'll look for nbc pants underscore co so here we go we have yellow underscore co and gray underscore co so if we open up these with text view you can see yellow pants there so if we save that to our folder so p drive tutorial one data nbc pants we change the last dot paa to dot png <coughs> as we can see here we have yellow nbc pants yellow dot png let's quickly edit this in paint just for a quick edit so we get some black lines and we'll just quickly make it really weird There you go, that's as weird as you're going to get in game. <laughs> Let's save this. We'll convert this back to a PAA. So we drag this into here. We'll resave it and we'll save it as a PAA. So this is where the big part of your config comes into the game. So whatever you name this to, so we'll call this King Skyline underscore NBC Pants. PAA. Right. So in our config now, now we need to make sure the hidden selections textures here are looking for where the PAA file is. 
Now, a lot of people get this incredibly wrong. It, it, for them, it appears in game as white. So, this is your main things that you want to focus on if your item is appearing in game white. If you really don't pay attention to this part, your item will appear white in game. So, best way to find out this little line of code right here is to click on your address bar up the top, do a backslash, and that will show you your items here. So the way I do it is I copy this, and I'll replace this here. I'll take out the first forward slash, first semicolons, and the P. So this is our tutorial one folder, as we can see here, data, data, NBC pants, NBC pants, in skyline underscore NBC pants dot PAA. And this is exactly what this is called. If this does not match where your PAA file is, your item will appear white in game. So if we copy this and replace this one and also replace this one. So the reason we do it three times is because this will be the camo ground. So this is the texture that you'll see on the floor. This is the texture. The second one is the texture that you'll see when a, a male character is wearing an item. And the, and the third texture is what you'll see when a female character is wearing your item. Okay, I just can't alliterate how much this line of code needs to match exactly where your PAA file is. And if you're not working from your P drive, this isn't going to work. Okay. So we can save this now. And we should be ready to build this into a mod. So your tutorial one folder is the folder that we've just been working on. Okay. So if we bring up add-on builder, so you really need to have this set up correctly too. So I will have this linked in the description down below. This list of files directly to copy needs to be exactly the way it is on my screen. You, there will be a copy and place link underneath. If this setup, if this settings page isn't exactly the same way as this, it's probably not going to work. Okay. <coughs> So your path to project folder needs to be P and your list of files to copy directly needs to be exactly the same way of these are. Otherwise, when your mod is built, it won't bring your PAA file, it won't bring your RV map files, and it certainly won't bring any file unless it's listed in this. It needs to be able to be directly copied. So our add-on source directory is the folder that we've just called. Okay, is the folder that we originally first made. So for us, it is tutorial one folder. Not the folders inside, just the tutorial one folder. Okay. So this first folder that we ever made, this is the folder that we're looking for. Our destination directory is where our mod is going to be. So for me, I don't have one that says YouTube test, I guess. Okay, I'll make one. So in the P drive, we'll make a folder called at YouTube test. In that folder, we'll create a folder called add-ons. And this is where we're going to put this destination directory. So this now should show us at YouTube test add-ons. Okay, so this is the way it should look. P drive tutorial one. P drive at YouTube test forward slash add-ons or backslash add-ons. So if you're creating a mod to go on the Steam Workshop, you want to click binarize all textures. If you're just quickly testing your mod and you'll know this is not the version you're going to upload, just untick that for now. So we click pack. And we have build successful. So as we can see now, now we have tutorial1.pbo. 
if this PBO name isn't the same as your original folder name, you've not packed correctly. Right? So if we open this now, we can see that it's got the config that we made originally. It's got the data folder. It's got the MBC pants. Also has the config in there and the pants PAA in there also. So we should be able to test this in game now. So if we open up Daisy, community offline mode. If you don't know how to set this up, then go and check out my community offline mode video. That'll also be linked in the description. So if we load a local mod, so YouTube test, YouTube test was installed. As we can see here, it's less than a megabyte, all for unknown, because we've not uploaded it yet. Now we can click play and wait until we're in game. Now we have Daisy up and loaded. We can spawn our object in. So if I remember rightly, I call it King Skyline underscore NBC pants. As you can see here, this is my texture that we made. Let's drop these on the floor. Put these on. There we go. You can see that these are the, the pants that we made. And this is what it says. King Skyline's clothing retexture video, NBC pants tutorial, and we have the funny creepy lines. As we can also see, we have a backpack slot, uh, the patch slot, which is currently not a slot in game. That's my custom slot. We have a radio slot, we have a chem light, and our shoulder slot. So we can put that on there, we can put that there. Generally, you can put anything anywhere. So this is how to retexture an item on Daisy. I hope this was very informative and I hope this is stopping some of the issues that people were having not seeing their item in game. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for part two.